I'm Dr. Ron Miller with CashBasedPhysiotherapy.org and today we're answering the question, does it matter if there's a lot of physical therapy clinics in my area? Because pretty much that says that you're an oversaturated market and you're interested in opening up a cash-based clinic in that s same area. So there's two mistakes with this. One, you're worried about your competitors. If your product is truly superior, as compared to your competitors, it doesn't matter what they're doing, okay? Um, I actually recommend people to open up a cash-based clinic in an oversaturated market because you, it proves that there's a need there and there's a lot of requests for physical therapy. And if your product, you know, in a cash-based setting, your product is gonna be way better than standard clinics, regardless if you're an expert clinician or not. The one-on-one -on -one care and the service there is gonna be much better than your competition. So I like the fact that there's an oversaturated market and I recommend PTs to open up a cash-based clinic in an oversaturated market. But the second problem with that is that question is small-minded and you're focusing on just people looking for physical therapy. You need to step back and look at the big picture, all of healthcare. You need to focus on the market of physicians, private practice, outpatient orthopedics, um, physical therapy. You need to look at acupuncturists, massage therapists, personal trainers, chiropractors. This is what you have to focus on. And again, because there's a huge market out there and don't just focus on people looking for physical therapy because you're gonna narrow yourself down. And those patients either have already seen physicians or are already going the insurance-based route. So step back and look at the big picture here. Look at all of the healthcare market in your area. And again, I hope it is an oversaturated market because there's chiropractors everywhere. There's acupuncturists everywhere. You know, I opened up my, my practice in Orlando, Florida. And there was oversaturation of everything. PTs, physicians, we have huge ACOs buying up everyone. Florida hospitals just dominating everyone. There's chiropractors at every corner. There's acupuncturists, massage therapists, you know. And I like the idea that you're in an oversaturated market. So um, don't just focus on people searching for physical therapy. Look at the big picture here and look at the pros and cons of all of healthcare and design your system to capture all those people. You know, we're not really out for just managing the diagnosis or just maintaining symptoms throughout a long period of time. You know, as a cash-based physical therapy practice, you know, you should be solving the root cause of the problem. So that means that not only is your service gonna be better, but your outcomes are gonna be better. People are gonna love coming to you because you're solving the root cause and you're getting people better faster and in fewer visits. So to go back to the initial question, you know, is it okay if there's so many physical therapy clinics around me? Yes, I think that's a good problem to have. But don't just focus on physical therapy clinics. Focus on everyone in your healthcare market um, in your given city. And I actually, again, I recommend if you're in an oversaturated healthcare marketplace, not just physical therapy, but everyone, that's a prime location to open up a cash-based physical therapy practice. So I hope this answers this, this question for you. Um, don't forget to like our Facebook page. Um, we're using this as an open forum where we can problem solve together and ask, and ask questions and kind of use a team approach with other cash-based clinic owners um, to help each other. And if you have any more questions about my system or my one-on-one programs, um, don't forget to visit cashbasedphysiotherapy.org. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time.